What's up, you guys? How, how is everyone doing today? Because I'm doing amazing. And, um, you guys may be wondering what this video is all about. And if you guys watch my channel at all, you saw that I posted a, um, bubblegum machine speed art, which is my wallpaper on my computer, as you guys can see. I have a lot of icons everywhere. Um, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that, so let's just get this started. Um, you're going to open Cinema 4D. Oh, and by the way, this is not porn. It is not porn. Those are tattoos that my girlfriend wants to get, so just in case you guys were thinking like, oh, he got porn on his desktop. It's there for a reason. Okay, so you're going to open Cinema 4D, and um, you're going to first, you're going to make a sphere. Here, I'm going to show you guys some pictures of what it's going to look like in the end. Um, better pictures. We're going to be trying to make something like, like this. That's what we're going to be, our final one. It looks really cool. You can see the glass. You can see all the reflections in every single gumball, and we're going to do that. So we're going to go back to Cinema 4D, and you're going to make a sphere, and you're going to size it up a little bit. Um, there we go. It doesn't really matter. It's personal preference. You're going to have to go up and down with it, depending on what sizes you use. But you're going to size it up, and you're going to make a new material, and just click on it and turn on transparency that's it and you just exit and drag on the sphere now we have a clear sphere yay see it's clear that's the, the light from it okay now we're gonna make a new sphere and we're going to name that one gumball, gumball. and we're gonna scale that down like super tiny like a gumball a little bigger than that Okay, now you're gonna duplicate that six times. So, because you want seven gumball ones. Four. Oops. Three, six. Oh, wait. There we go. Seven of them. So what you're gonna do now is, I have the the um grayscale gorilla texture packs. If you guys don't have that for Cinema 4D, you can look it up on Google, and you can you can buy it from grayscaledegorilla.com, or you guys can just Google it, and you'll find out how to get it. But those are where the materials I used were, and I'm just going to get all the materials I need. We're going to use, there's ones in here for gumballs, we're going to get each of those. Each of the gumball ones, there's seven of them. Okay. We have the gumball ones, and then we're going to scroll down and get, we'll do pink and then purple and we need one more so we'll do shiny silver okay so now we have all of the materials we're going to need we're going to want to place the gumball ones we use which are the main colorful ones we're going to place each one on the gumball object so we're going to do just go down the list and two more Okay, now we have all these gumballs, and you can see they're all going to sit right on top of each other, so they're going to look really weird. But what we're going to do now is you're going to select all the gumballs and go to MoGraph Cloner Object, and just make the cloner object a parent of the gumballs. Now you can see we it cloned it, but it's only in line form, so we're going to change cloner to grid array, and we're going to change the count to 10 by 15 times... 10 or by 10 and if we drag that up a little bit it's gonna get really slow because there's a lot of polygons and particles in here so if we render you can see there's kind of like a pattern to it like there's these lines of the same color so to fix that we're gonna go to clones under our cloner object and change it to random and now it randomizes everything but we have one problem if we were to to play this it's not gonna go anywhere so what we want to do is we want to get all our gumballs inside of our main sphere, our glass sphere. So we're going to kind of mess with this a little bit. We're going to scale it down until it fits inside of the sphere. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to scale down this too a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to go to click on our sphere and we're going to go to tags, simulation tags, and collider body. And we're going to go in the options for that tag and we're going to change the shape to static mesh. 
and then we're going to go to our cloner and click all the gumball textures or all the gumball objects and we're going to go to tags rigid body simulation then rigid body and now if we play this it's going to go kind of slow and kind of laggy but we have some that escape because it wasn't inside the sphere fully but most of them are going to just sit in the bottom of the sphere and if we cancel this we can see they're all in there but we have one problem our like main glass sphere is huge like humongous so we're gonna have to do some editing we're gonna just scale up the gumballs okay that should be good now we're gonna play it again they're bigger so it will take up more room and let's just let them all settle I got a text message. Huh. Okay, now you can see they're pretty much settled, so we're going to pause it. We're going to play it a little more until these ones get out of the scene, the ones that are escaping. And... Okay, there we go. Now we're going to click on all the... Um, what are they called? All of the rigid body tags are on each of the gumballs. You're going to click every single one, so you're going to hold control and click them all and then we're going to go to set initial state so now when we reset it we have them they're already at the bottom of the sphere and it's already fallen so that's what we want now I'm just going to disable the the main spheres the gumballs right now and we're going to work on the base of our gumball machine so what we're going to do first is you're going to take a cylinder object and you're going to try to drag that down until it's at the bottom of the sphere and we kind of want to taper out and like engulf it. So we go over here to our deformers and go to taper. And we're going to drag that and make that a child of the cylinder. Now if we turn up the strength, you will see that it's going to taper it out, but it doesn't really do a good job. Like it just it doesn't really taper it out like we want to. And that's because if we go to our cylinder, there's no height segments. If you guys know anything about modeling, there's horizontal segments, which are like these lines going up and down, and there's no height ones. So we're going to go over here and go to height segments, and we're just going to turn that up. We'll do, the more you do, the more of a taper effect it will have, so we're going to do 70. That's a high number, but it'll be good. And then now if we turn up our taper, you can see it tapers out a lot better, and we can fix this a little bit. I'm just gonna mess with this little taper object. Oops. Now if we drag that on. Okay, now we're just going to kinda get it to line up right. And then we're gonna drag that up. Oops. Now we're gonna click our cylinder and we're gonna kinda make it line up with the sphere. There. Now if we zoom in, you can kind of see it lines up and kind of sit like the sphere is sitting in it. So now if you render it, it's just going to be kind of sitting there. You can't really see the um, the glass sphere because of the there's no effects turned on. But we're going to make it, just add a little design. We're going to take a torus, which is kind of like a ring. And I'm going to zoom out. And we're going to turn down the radius really low and turn down the pipe radius so it's like about like that and we're going to zoom in and we're just going to change the ring radius so it sits and sits on the edge of the um torus and on or the edge of the cylinder and the edge of the sphere kind of like like that just so it doesn't it kind of forms into the sphere so we're going to add a texture we're going to make this we'll make the torus pink you can use any textures you want, this is just what I'm using. And we'll make everything else, we'll make it blue. Okay. Now, we can leave the, the bottom done, but, because we're not really going to see that very much, but you can also just taper it out the same way I did with the top. And then it kind of forms into the ground. So now we have the bottom of our gumball machine done. We're going to zoom in, and we're going to go look at the top now. Now we're going to take a 
Uh, we can either use a cylinder or a disc. I'm going to use a disc for this one. And I'm going to drag it up. It's out of view. Okay. Now we're going to lower the outer radius a bit to about 40. And we kind of want it to taper, but we're going to do it on the top. So we can't really use taper. So we're going to use Spherify, which turns it kind of like an oval shape. And we're going to make that the child with a disc. And now it's just a matter of lining everything up. We can turn it up to make it more circular. And then we just have to line it up on the top. We can zoom in. Like you see, it's kind of sitting on the top a little bit. But right here, it's not really aligning, so we're going to have to change some of that. that's gonna be good it's not gonna be perfect because it takes some time to set everything up but for right now we're just gonna leave it like that you can spend more time on it as much as you want but for the tutorial we're gonna leave it like that and now if you look at mine which is on my wallpaper there's this little bar that goes down the middle which you see in a lot of gumball machines to make that it's really simple you're gonna take a, a cylinder and we're gonna zoom out and you're gonna turn up the radius or you're gonna turn down the radius and turn up the height a little bit and we're just going to drag that up so it should already be aligned straight in the middle and it'll look like that you can make it thinner or more bigger as much as you want and it'll look like that and we don't really want this little bar sitting out of the top so we're going to take a sphere and oh, I gotta zoom out again and we're just going to scale that down and then we're going to drag that straight up and it'll automatically be sitting on the top. That's kind of big but I'm going to leave it like that or I'll scale it down a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to add some materials to those. We're going to add a s for the sphere that's sitting on the top right here we'll do, let's do pink I guess. And for the cylinder that's the bar going down the middle we'll do this this kind of a silver texture whoops we'll do a cylinder and then the disc I'll just do this the blue one we used for the bottom so now if we zoom out and render it'll kind of look like this you can't really see the globe yet but we're gonna fix that in a second so to fix that we're gonna go to our transparency texture and go under transparency and change the refraction to about 1.2 and that will kind of give us more of a sphere how we can see it and then we're going to turn back on our cloner and you see now we have a gumball machine filled with gumballs and we can render that out really quick and it'll look like that and you can see you have reflections on the top from the gumballs and you can also turn that down if you want to turn it down Action. we'll do back to one and another way effect you can do to kind of get a cool looking texture on it is if you go to your um, glass material which is I lost it oh, here we go I had it the first time the sphere and we're gonna go to si uh, simulate and then cloth nerbs and we're gonna drag the sphere into the cloth nerbs and this kind of gives it like it smooths it go out or in it kind of gives it like a depth we're going to change ours to a negative negative two now if we zoom in and we'll add let's see we'll add a sky sky and we'll add a what a sunlight and I'm just gonna get some materials for the sky really quick when I figure out where they put them in Cinema 4D there's some that's preloaded into here you just have to find them ah here we go natural it's not here 
nature. Here we go. HDRI. We'll do number two. There we go. And we're whoops. We're gonna drag that into our sky, and then we're gonna drag the same one into the sun. And now, if we zoom out a little bit, and you can see if we click on our sun, our sun is kind of like right there. Um, if we go over to it. It's at 23.58, which is my current time, which is about midnight, so we'll see how that looks right now. See, it's kind of dark everywhere because it's just a dark sun. So we're going to change that to about 12. See how that looks. A little bit more of colors, but... There we go. Now if we rotate a little... And we're going to zoom in. We render. We still kind of have that darkness. That just because of the reflections from everything. But if we render it like this, you can see. Okay, you can't really see any colors. Everything looks the same. So we're going to delete the sun. Because that, that whole idea didn't work out. I'm going to add a light box and see how that looks. This is the hardest part of the whole render is basically messing with the sky and if this doesn't work I'm just gonna leave it with you guys and you guys can mess around with it because this is the hardest part of it and we're in a render there we go now you can see everything has colors to it and everything's colorful we have the reflections at the bottom we have the pink we have the bar going up the middle but it still kinda looks like our sphere is just invisible they're just floating there so we'll go back here and we'll, we'll change the refraction up to 1.1 and now we'll just render it, we'll turn on ambient occlusion and we'll render and we'll see what we got now if you guys don't know yet you guys should like this video of course because it's awesome and subscribe to my channel and my second channel which is in my profile, it's at the bottom and if you guys should, you guys should comment below and tell me what videos you guys want to see because I love doing tutorials for you guys because it helps you guys learn and it helps me learn. And if you guys want to see anything else, just, just let me know because I'm, I'm open for anything. And you can kind of see um, all these colors kind of blended in more. They weren't all bright because it's taking the, the ambient occlusion and adding it. And it looks like a real realistic picture and when it loads the side of the thing I'll show you how you can kinda of see the this glass sphere around it, it's not invisible anymore you can see it kinda of right here how there's a line around it so it's not invisible you can see it over here there's more reflections in it now so it looks like there's sun going through it and it kinda of distorts the what's behind it so it doesn't look like it's just flat so I hope you guys like this tutorial and if you guys don't well, you guys should tell me what I'm doing wrong. But if you guys liked it, leave a comment and a like below. Or, yes, comment and like below and subscribe. And thanks for listening. Peace.